Why did it take European car manufacturers 100 years to build their brands? Well, it took Nissan just 25 years. What was Nissan doing in outer space? And can a woman influence the company's image? Come along for the ride as we continue our history of Nissan. It's April 1935. The very first Datsun passenger car rolls off the assembly line in Yokohama. At the time, Nissan switches to using only Japanese made components and installs presses to produce body panels. This change ends the old fashioned manual processing of metal sheets and it puts Nissan on the fast track to success overnight. The company's president, Yoshisuke Aikawa, proves to be a brilliant leader. He makes huge plans to increase his company's production to 10 to 15,000 vehicles per year and they nearly achieve it. It's not just about the technology they have but also their skillful marketing. For example, the company often puts Datsun and Nissan cars on stage as backdrops to music reviews, which is a popular form of entertainment in Japan. Nissan sponsors it and proves to be a great marketing strategy. It's the 1930s. Datsun uses famous actresses to improve their public image. And in 1936, Nissan hires four young women to introduce Datsun and Nissan cars to consumers. They're initially known as Datsun demonstrators. It's a completely revolutionary method for its time to employ women and train them to be professional saleswomen. The Datsun demonstrators stand on the showroom floor to show and explain the various car models. Their job is to communicate directly with the consumers and answer questions about the car and the brand. The training is extensive and the program proves success. It will eventually become the forerunner of the Miss Fair Lady team, which starts 30 years later in 1963 and still exists today. It's 1937. Full color films are still rare, even in Hollywood. Nissan makes an incredibly groundbreaking move that propels them into the Japanese market. They start shooting their car advertisements in full color film. It's 1951. This year, Nissan is celebrating the birth of the Patrol, the first four wheel drive SUV with a six cylinder engine. Here's the 1951 Nissan Patrol, and here's the modern Patrol. The progress is obvious. It's 1958. Nissan Motors is beginning to export passenger cars to the United States. And in September, two Datsun 1000 sedans, Model 210, take part in the Australian Mobile Gas Trial Rally. It's one of the toughest ones in the world. It's almost a race for survival. But despite the enormous difficulties and complexity of the track, or more like the complete absence absence of a track, the Nissan team wins a champion title in its class. They win in the class of engines with fewer than 1,000 cc's. It also is one of the longest motorsport events in the world. The race runs clockwise across the Australian continent. It starts from Sydney and ends in Melbourne, which is 10,000 miles. Participant have overcome sandy hills, swamps, and water obstacles that reach over three feet deep. But it's not just the endurance part. Two cars from the Skoda team crash in the race. Also, the Volkswagen team runs into two trees. One driver breaks his arm, and the other breaks his nose in the accident. The team from Australian Morris Major loses control, and both pilots fly out of the car. Unfortunately, one of them dies. More accidents happen. One team breaks the axle of their car, another team collides with a kangaroo. It's such a tough endurance race, after all of these bad accidents, the race will later cease to exist after 1958. But it's at the 1958 rally the two Datsun 1000 sedans successfully cross the finish line. This victory gives the company the publicity and credibility to now enter foreign markets. The Datsun brand now becomes synonymous with smaller, high-quality cars. And in August 1958, Nissan releases the high-end Datsun Bluebird. The unique feature of the Bluebird is the first-ever power-assisted front brakes created by a Japanese manufacturer. These new power-assisted brakes allow even petite Japanese women to brake easily with the light brake pressure. It's 1960 now. A new large car is in development, the Nissan Cedric. The name of the car is in honor of the main character of the famous story, Little Lord Fauntleroy, who is commonly known around the world. These two cars, the 1959 Bluebird and the 1960 Cedric, both win Japanese consumers' hearts. The Cedric is considered a larger mid-sized car in Japan. Cedric's luxurious body has twin headlights. 
impressive dynamic performance and a small car's low fuel consumption. The six-seater Cedric is one of Nissan's first monocoque, having a panoramic windshield and state-of-the-art equipment. It's now November 1963. The second generation Skyline makes an appearance on the Japanese market. It's a small, comfy family car, reliable and easy to maintain. The car's engine comes with a warranty that covers two years or 18,000 miles. The year turns to 1964. The second Japanese Grand Prix GT2 category is about to begin. It features a select model, the predecessor of the GTR. The Skyline S54 2000 GT with a 2-liter engine. This Skyline competes in a race with the Porsche 904 GTS, a pure racing car built in West Germany. At the time, there's a belief that Japanese technical advancements are far behind the rest of the world. On one of the laps, the Skyline overtakes Porsche. The audience is delighted and jumps with excitement. Although the Skyline comes in second place, it can now boast a public image as a sports car. The next year, it's February 1965. The new Skyline 2000 GTB is released, largely due to the success of the previous S54 2000 GTR model. The Skyline 2000 GTB has a 2 liter 127 horsepower engine, a limited slip differential, 5 speed manual transmission, and some powerful brakes. Even the best drivers don't fail to appreciate the excellent specs of this car. The following year, the memorable Nissan Bluebird remains popular among fans families, but it's not very affordable for newlyweds. So this leads to a new model in the spring of 1966. Datsun Nissan releases a new compact sedan with a 1 liter engine called the Datsun Sunny 1000, model BN. This new release sparks a demand for more family cars like this on the Japanese market because it's less expensive than the previous models. The name of the car when translated means full of sunshine or something similar to bright, lively, and young. It is a positive name and attracts a new market of consumers in a company that it hadn't tapped before. It's 1970s. Here's a fun fact. Nissan goes to outer space. Well, not quite like Tesla sending its roads drop, but Nissan gets involved in developing and manufacturing rocket engines engines and launchers. The rocket Lambda 4S5 is one of the rockets they work on. Another thing they accomplished is launching the first Japanese satellite called Osimi into outer space. The purpose of Osimi is to observe the ionosphere, the sun and millions of energetic particles from the earth. The same year the company starts expanding its manufacturers, including making engines for the shipbuilding industry. By 1976, Nissan finally becomes the largest car exporter in the world. The next year, they sell more than 20 million cars. Later in February 1994, the first H2, a rocket-powered Nissan engine, launches successfully. They introduced the Continuous Variable Transmission, CVT. The CVT has both fuel efficiency as well as direct response to acceleration. Till that time, people believed that variable transmissions could only be made on relatively low power motors. Previously, the CVT drive pain feature was not able to withstand high torque ratings, but Nissan engineers proved that CVTs can work with powerful engines too. To this day, Nissan is one of the only companies that actually prioritize safety in their vehicles. The popular X-Trail and the Cash K crossover boast a max 5-star rating from Euro NCAP an independently and authoritative association specializing in testing new cars on the market. Beginning in 1990, Nissan firmly established itself in the European market with its release of the Primera. In 97, Nissan begins selling this model with a Hyper CVT, which increases the fuel economy. A combination of a variable transmission and a powerful 2-liter engine with 190 horsepower is one of the first used in the industry. At the end of 2002, Nissan Motors announces the development of seat belts that are already tensioned when the car is braking hard. It's a design that helps cushion the passenger from injury in a possible collision. The new limiting system detects the movement of a potential collision based on the driver's brake pedal force and pre-tensions the seat belt to keep the driver or the passenger safe. If an accident were to happen, the seat belt limiter helps to maximize the effectiveness of all the other safety systems. Starting with the production of miniature cars, Nissan has grown over time into a fully global brand that has established itself in Europe in just a quarter of a century.